Hey there, this is Wanda Bindi, and here I show you how to use already defined assets which you find in other projects. And so, for example, if you have one project which you um, do did or you bought or you just got from somewhere and you just want to use one object or a few sprites or whatever, there's a quite okay way to get those things. So, for example, you have an, another project and you say, all right, I just want to have um, an object from my other projects. And one thing you cannot do it, you cannot just, I don't know, import one project into another. This doesn't work. This import project, as far as I know, but correct me if I'm wrong, is being used to import older versions of GameMaker projects and they just convert from older project into the new GMS2 because they use another engine and in another format and then it needs to convert from older to new and for example if you see here build and create executable it just means that you're producing and doing a game which is being encrypted so once you do that people cannot access your stuff because it's already a full build so this is out of the question as well and well so how can you get stuff from one project to the other? One way is to um, copy paste it and just go from one uh, project, open it, copy paste, do uh, put some stuff in, I don't know, notepad or whatever, and just jump between those projects, which is kind of stupid and pointless. So we just do it in another way. And there's one already built in and it says add existing. So for example, if I want to add existing, object which I have in other projects I just go in here and for example just um, go into the folder where my other projects are for example I go in my lasers advanced and there you have the same structure which you have on the right side and we just go into um, objects and for example want to copy our player and then it has the dot yy you just double click it and in the it is being imported but um, it has some downsides for example as you can see here there's a script being run but we don't have that script over here so you should I don't know go for right click add existing and add the script as well but now we just leave it and as you can see I just imported the old player but the sprites have been imported as well because some things are kind of attached to each other so you're taking a few things with you. So for example, if the old player would be um, a child of a parent object, the parent object would be as well um, being imported. So you just cannot just go from one to one. Sometimes few things are attached and they get imported as well. So just keep that in mind. Another way to get stuff is the official marketplace. And I don't have any of my stuff on there because you have to, well, be a publisher. And I could do that pretty easily, but I'm really not a fan because I prefer to um, do my projects and just share them so everybody can use them here. It's kind of restricted and uh, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of that. So, and this is how it looks like. So here you have a few scripts, um, backgrounds and stuff. And well, you can find a few things, but a lot of times, um, well, they are paid. So, well, just take it as, as, as it is. And for example, if I'm looking up CVG, the, the one platformer engine which I use from this guy in my tutorial series, I can go in here and this one is completely free. And well, I can import the whole project if I like. Sometimes the loading takes just long. All right, so we have here. So for example, what you do here is you just download it and then it will be in your library in here. And for example, once it, it, it is in here, you just go on download because um, you just have it listed, but not locally stored. And you, you need to have it locally stored. That's why you just go on here and download or import, whatever. And then you will get this little icon here and then you can actually import the whole thing into your game. And here you see what it does contain. So it has like sprites and backgrounds and scripts and so on. 
and we just go on and now we can import it if you want to have it in another well project you can go like this and then just import and create a new project which you can do for example we just go on like this and for example if you say i just want to have a few specific things well you just go in here and just go add and delete and so on so but for now we just go and import and then you will get a pop-up here and this just says all right this is an older version of game maker studio because they use like a format of dot uh, gmx i guess or some other format and well it if you say no it will stay true to it but we just go for yes because we want to have no errors concerning the compatibility and this um, is a thing which is going to be solved by scripts for example the older versions have um, this um, thing which is called instance create and the newer uh, game maker does, does not have that so basically you just solve all compatibility issues with some scripts which are translating from older engine um, well game maker language to, to the new one and this is how it looks like and for example as you can see everything has been put in if you want to test it we just delete the default one because we don't need it and we just hit f5 it already should work and as you can see it does so these are the two ways how you can get stuff from pre-existing assets projects just some single sprites and so on this is how you can get that stuff hopefully that was useful to you have a good one one up indie